Hi, I'm Josh and welcome to my shop. This is my entry into Emma's tool room, Emma's spare room tool making competition. Um, I've been watching this competition for the last couple of years as I've been learning a lot more about machining. I've always been too intimidated to enter. I'm definitely no Tom Lipton or Robin Renzetti. I'm not making nanometer precision level surface gauge things. Um, I've got a small lathe, a small milling machine, and I definitely don't have the skill of someone like Blondie Hacks Quinn, who has basically the same machines but does amazing work. But I decided, you know what, I might as well enter. I wanna give back a little bit to the community and just participate. So one of the challenges that I have in the shop is that I am a lone operator. I have my cats that roam around, my dog occasionally is in here, I have two young small children, and they're not really strong enough to uh, be camera operators. So I'm typically shooting with a tripod, and I think a lot of you who uh, are in YouTube land uh, struggle with getting the perfect shot. And one of the things I've always wanted to do is have some motion to my footage. So that's where this guy comes in. I built myself a CNC camera robot operator. It's a three axis machine. It can slide back and forth this way. Um, it can rotate this way and tilt this way. Now, I think like a lot of you, I spend a lot of time scouring online auctions, trying to find that perfect new old stock Bridgeport still wrapped in its Cosmoline for $300. Haven't been able to find one yet, but I was able to find a bunch of precision uh, uh, mechanical devices in an auction from a uh, uh, silicon wafer fab that went out of business. So I scrounged some of the parts for that and uh, basically built the rest. So let's get to it. Let's take you into the machine shop and let's start building this thing. Well, I've already built it, but let's start watching building it. Anyway, you get the idea. Let's get to it.
probably a good idea that I give you a quick rundown of what you saw me do over the last couple of minutes. I started off with this linear rail system that I won at the auction. It came with a really nice AC servo motor and driver. Unfortunately, the driver required firewire and software that I just wasn't able to locate. And while servos would have been better for all of this, I ended up going with steppers. I had them around and they were easy to drive. So started off by boring out or drilling out a new bolt hole circle to mount the smaller stepper motor on here and made a coupler to go from the shaft of this stepper to the ball screw that's in there. That was pretty straightforward. Then went on to this uh, rotary head here. And I started off by milling out these two blocks. I bored this guy out to recess this geared stepper motor in here. It has a planetary gearbox, uh, another bolt hole pattern for that. And uh, put together this shaft coupler. I started off with actually a uh, flexible shaft coupler but with a large moment of inertia of a, a long lens on the front of this, it would bounce a lot and that was hard to control for. So I was able to make things adjustable. So these are slots for these screws here and here, so I could align in this direction. And by precise milling of the back faces of these two blocks, I was able to get this shaft aligned nicely so I could have a, a rigid shaft coupler. Inside this top block, there are two ball bearings that are sort of held together in compression with these two nuts, one up in here and one under there. Then I welded together a plate that mounts this shaft or mounts the shaft to this plate and holds everything together rigidly. That then gets us to the tilt head. This is probably where I did most of my prototyping. Um, I started off with an idea of having a linear actuator and then uh, decided to switch to using these gears. I pulled these gears out of um, my Harbor Freight mini lathe change gear set because I'd converted that lathe to CNC and so I didn't need the change gears anymore. And it works nicely for this job. So again, here we have an aluminum block, which has a pressed bearing in there and a shaft then pressed into that with a gear on there, keyed and keyed through to another small uh, geared stepper motor. And that's welded onto a plate here. Then on the topic of welding, I welded up a pretty sturdy mount for this thing. A lot of vibrations, a lot of weight, a lot of weight moving around. Having a heavy base is good. The base also provides me a spot to mount the stepper drivers and the power supply. Then uh, there was electronics. And so this ribbon cable here goes over to a Raspberry Pi. I've just quickly hacked together some demo code that lets me test it and move it. Um, there's probably a lot more I need to do in terms of writing software, but uh, writing software really takes us out of probably the realm of a machine tool competition. And I'm probably stretching it anyway with a, a camera robot as being a machine tool. But if the judges would like or prefer, I could mount my uh, live tooling from my uh, lathe on here and call this a three axis CNC milling machine slash camera robot. Anyway, um, this was a lot of fun to build. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone else's entries. And uh, thank you so much. 